All right, I went ahead and finished my animation, my frame by frame written letter, and I reversed the frames. So now it looks something like this. Might be a little bit rough in your playback, but there it is. So the next thing I wanted to show you is how you can take this and turn it into an animated symbol. So to do that, I want to have my library ready and I'm going to select all of my frames by highlighting them and then I'm going to right click or go into the menu oops sorry menu the edit menu timeline copy frames and in my library I'm going to say let's make a new symbol and I'm gonna name this um, swirl and I made it a graphic by the way I'm going to right click or click and then edit timeline paste frames. So now I'm inside the symbol and I'm utilizing the timeline of the symbol. Now because this is a graphic symbol I can see the animation on my stage. So here's my original one. Let me make a new layer and I'm going to grab that swirl symbol and I'm just going to place it somewhere on the stage. Now I can't see it because the first part of that animation has nothing in it. And hopefully I didn't put it in the same spot. But there you can see almost twin letters animating. And actually I can hide or even delete the original because it is contained within the symbol. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll just show you a couple of neat things that because this is a symbol that you can do. So let's say I have that one on the stage and I'll go ahead and bring out another one. Make sure I've got my frame selected and then just drag it out to the stage. And let's go about midpoint so I can see how it's placed. And I'll go ahead and place it underneath perhaps a little bit. And while it's selected I'll go into the properties and say I want to put a color effect on it such as alpha and reduce the alpha of my secondary one so that it looks something like an animated shadow. Okay, but the fun doesn't even stop there. If I get another version, get another instance of my symbol, and again I can't see it till it's about midpoint. So let's say it's there. Uh, let me drag these two. I'm shift clicking and I'm moving them in their entirety. And I'll move this one in here too. And what I'm going to do is modify it by just flipping it so that it's sort of a mirror image. And uh, let's see if we can align that to the other one. Drag it, it should align. Or, of course, I can use my Align tool, but again, just for demonstration purposes and for being a little speedy here, let's see what that looks like. Okay, Instant Filigree. And, of course, I could put a drop shadow on that one as well. So let's do that. I think, actually, I'll just copy it this time. And again, because they're not animated, you can actually put multiples on the stage. I'm going to copy that and paste it right on the stage, same place. And let's get the darker one above here. Drag it so that it's something like a mirror image of our shadow. Put the same amount of alpha on it. Notice that Flash remembered the last alpha that I put on it. Now, I didn't get the alignment perfect, but you get the general idea here. Pretty cool.